All right, so we are going to do now a credit sale to an existing customer. This takes um, shorter time, obviously, than a new customer. We don't have to go out and get a whole new um, application. Uh, depending on your company, you probably have to uh, verify some of the existing information. Um, and uh, however your company operates, we can uh, tailor it to you um, in terms of the flow of the sale and when things happen. But uh, So it will look a little different maybe than what I'm going to show you here, but it'll be pretty similar. So like all other sales, we start with the sales desktop. And we're going to select merchandise um, and click new sale. All right, so this is a customer that was already uh, a customer of ours, so we can find that customer um, in a couple of different ways. Um, the first thing is, if we know the customer's account number, we can just enter it in here, and we'll do that in a second. But in case we don't, you click on the button next to customer, it gives you a whole search field to find that customer. You can look by name, phone, social, date of birth, driver's license, customer number, their address, employer, or any combination of these things. Um, so it's pretty easy to find the customer. Obviously, the easiest one is right here, the phone number. Um, but we're not going to do that since I already have an account number of a customer here. I'm going to enter it. And enter, and there's my customer. It's Randy Testimonial, and the information on that customer automatically populates. All right, the next thing I want to do is select merchandise, and I'm going to go ahead and use that last SKU. I'm going to select that SKU. And so that is a, what are we buying here? We're buying a power sofa uh, for $21.99. Um, again, if I didn't know the SKU, I can always click the button next to SKU and go out and search for a SKU. All right, so let's go to the next step. Remember in Infinity, look for those dark blue buttons. It's trying to guide you along. So let's click on delivery. We can set up a delivery for this customer. And let's say we are going to, no, you know what? We're not going to do that. We're going to say that this is a local. They're going to come pick that up. And they're going to pick it up, let's say, on Friday the 6th. Click OK. And continue on. And again, look for those dark blue buttons. And we are ready to submit this to our credit department. Um, as you know, in the credit business. Um, we have people that will analyze the sale and the customer and the customer's credit history and those good things to decide what kind of construction the actual deal. So I'm going to click Submit to Credit. And it's asking me now, this is what I'm going to, whatever I put in here is going to be forwarded to the credit analyst. So if I sit, click here, the down payment button, this is what I'm going to tell them how much the customer is willing to pay. Again, some of you will have uh, a place where you can just enter a dollar amount. Um, some companies have a table uh, to choose from, as this one does. So I'm going to say that this customer is offering 25% down payment. And here I can put in uh, notes to the um, credit supervisor. So I can say that uh, I'm going to submit it for credit approval. So this takes a, a little bit of time um, because that information is being sent over to 
uh, our credit department, and someone's going to pick that up, analyze this sale, uh, and let us know what we need to do to complete this. Quiet here because I'm actually also going in and doing the credit uh, branch. Again, this is a great time to speak to your customer. Right. So I just quoted that deal, and it should pop up for me here in a second now. There it is. Um, so I can see I'm pre-approved for 18, 13, and 90 cents. Uh, they gave me 18 months with two hundred for 274 dollars per month. Uh, if I click on that blue button, and again they approved my 605 dollar down. If I click on that blue button. Uh, what this is telling me is that the delivery, the actual the local thing, was actually changed because they, they didn't look like we were going to have the merchandise on time. So actually, um, I have a uh, I run this sale before, so I've actually got a couple of uh, options here. One of them is auto payment um, for this account, which means that money would be taken from the customer's uh, credit or debit card or their checking account or the one that doesn't say auto pay the customer will make payments either on their own by right? coming to the store mailing it in or calling or doing it on the website so that's what i'm going to take i'm going to say i accept that deal and charge button down here. If I click down there, it's going to give me a uh, history of the account, or I should say of this sale here. Um, so we've got the price of the merchandise, the sales tax, the total there, uh, and the unpaid balance to this account. Notice here, the unearned, this customer had a balance already. So this is being refinanced, uh, this account. Um, so what it's saying is the unearned finance charges are $581 that it is stripping from the account as it is right now, giving me a new unpaid balance of $2,003.89, right, uh, to add to the 25, uh, I'm sorry, to add to the 24,18.90. And for a total price of 44.22.79 will be the new outstanding balance. Okay, uh, we go over here to the down payment side. Now, um, 
once a down terms are approved by the credit department, I can go ahead and put more down payment in if I wanted to. If the customer said, you know, hey, I want to pay a little more, reduce my, my monthly payment, I could do that. Uh, and the same thing with the, but I, the same thing with the, uh, the length of the new uh, contract, the, the how many months to pay. I can go ahead and put in less. I cannot put in more. Down payment, I can put in more, but I cannot put less. All right, and what we're going to choose is the customers already had a payment date of the 15th, but this gives the options if the customer would like to change it to a different uh, payment date. So let's say I'm going to change it to the 20th, um, and that should be all we can do here. So we click OK, save. Please check the down payment button. That's it. Today or later. Oops, I didn't say when. Huh. Okay. Click the down payment button. There we go. All right. So I'm going to say the customer is going to pay the entire down payment today. Okay. All right. So click OK, save. We go back. Now uh, the, the sales uh, portion of the merchandise um, selection. Click method uh, and this is um, what's going to happen today. They're going to pay $605 cash and they're going to finance $18,13.90 um, in-house for a total of $24,18.90. That will all be again added to uh, the previous balance. Uh, if that's okay, if we didn't want to change, we can you know, go ahead and change the way they want to pay today. If they wanted to do something different, uh, let's say they want to pay with a personal check today, we can add that in. Um, and if, uh, again, if now the customer um, is unsure and they want to go home and discuss it, you can click here where it says save data. And when the customer can come back in, and you can go back into the sale and pick up right where you left off. Um, but let's say the customer wants to finish it off today. Let's uh, click on post sale. Do you want to print the security agreement? I say yes. And it now goes into the e-signing documentation. Um, so this is now going out and going to the e-sign company to prepare the documents. Uh, and this takes, oh, about 30, 45 seconds before it comes back to us. Once it does, uh, there will be the signing session, which the salesperson will make a signature or two, and then hand the mouse over to the customer and show them the screen so the customer can sign where they need to sign. Uh, looks like it's coming back to us right now. Um, Again, if the customer would like to review the document prior to signing, uh, you can do a couple of things. You can show it to them on the screen here, or you can click down here where it says print on sign and print a copy for them. All right, so this, uh, like I said, there's two um, sets of signatures that are going to happen, one by the salesperson, which is me, Infinity Support, and that's what's in this uh, field right here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead sign uh, and watch one more signature and that's going to be right down here I just need to click that box every time I see a number in that box click OK and that will uh, finish my portion of the signing go back up here when it comes back to me and if I click here now there's the customer's names click on Randy testimonial and it will bring up the customer's e-signing -sign, e section. You can see the customer needs four signatures. Um, and so I'm just going to click on that box and it will bring you down to where the customer needs to sign or initiate. There's one, there's two, there's three. Here, there's still one left. We'll find the last one. Click OK. And the contract has been signed. Okay, all signatures are complete. And uh, we are 
are done with a signing. Now, a copy of both the unsigned and the signed contract has been uploaded and stored on the customer's account where you can go in and see it any time. Um, there are several places where you'll see a little box, usually at the top right of the screen, that says Docs. Uh, click on that, it'll bring up all the documents for that customer that you can go in and see. So I'm going to click Close here, click Continue. And this is just showing some inventory information uh, because we don't have the merchandise in stock. So if I wanted to transfer that merchandise to the store, I could request a transfer here, but we're not going to do that now. We can go through that in a different tutorial. I'm going to get out of there, and it's now telling me the sale is complete. And you can exit. And we are done. We have just made a sale to an existing. Thank you.